Hey everybody, I've been receiving a lot of same emails recently, so I would like to explain a few things a little bit about the cyberbikes. I've been having a lot of questions whether we still make cyberbikes. Yes, we do. We've been offering them for over a year, even though the video is older. There is not much change and that's why I didn't feel like it's worth filming about anything. So this one is sitting here charging, almost fully charged. 4 amps, 91 volts in total. I would like to show you how that performs. It's just a quick run showing you the acceleration and the brakes. It's absolutely mind blowing. We use them daily and I love them. Having a lunch and charging the bikes. That's a really awesome trip. You can see we run this small production. We have now two almost ready. This one misses a battery, it's just a raw hardware. And this one has a fitted battery, fitted panels. I think we're gonna start testing this one today or tomorrow. And this one is good to go. So these are available from us as a finished product or you can build one yourself. There are a few changes now and then, but usually just the small tweaks just to keep the building easier. And uh, one of the few changes you can see is just we added branding here and we have a QR code, but this is only the promotional model. We just had it on an expo. I haven't decided maybe we'll keep this on, a, on all the bikes as a branding so it doesn't look as naked. But overall, not much change. We have uh, pretty positive reviews and I've been riding this one myself for a long time. And uh, I love it. People love it. Everybody is in love. Aww. Also pretty frequently asked question is, do I have to weld my own frame? No, you don't have to. We buy these frames pre-made with a postured seat, with all the bolts and nuts, everything you need. If you're reasonably handy, you can build one of these easily. Batteries we supply ourselves or for American audience we have a partner who builds and supplies finished battery packs for us. I gave him instructions how to make them, he makes them, and we've had multiple good reviews about those. I'm sorry for always testing on these flat grounds, as we call it, this central uh, Olomouc region, because it's so flat, there's no mountain, there's no hill. So I can properly show you how it performs on a hilly terrain. That's why we did a quick trip with Margaret and at least did, did some footage. This is 100 kilo, I'm 190 centimeters tall and this is heavy duty. Front fork, heavy duty. Brakes, calipers, look at that suspension. And the power. Flex cords, still amazing, I'm still in love with them. Fits nicely in there. Bit of a technique how to tuck it in. Magnets hold it, never ever happened that this would open. So this is recording, this is recording the way it is. Okay, filming. Filming. Okay, it's as easy as that. Like I love it that we don't do much maintenance, only tensioning the chain. And uh, brakes us super hard, super good suspension. I love this version. Okay, let's switch to GoPro and see what this is up to. Okay, here we go. Simple, easy test. It's been a raining past few days, so pretty wet dirt roads. So I'm definitely not going on them. <laughs> I don't want to be that much dirty now. So, people ask me all the time, is this competitive with Suron? No, it's not. This is a completely different category. This is heavy duty. This is 100 kilos bike. That is three times more powerful than Suron. If people modify Surrounds to 12 to 13 kilowatts, this is 27. This, like, I always see it as a Suron as a really small bike for boys, for teenagers. And this is a serious man's tool. <laughs> 
if that, if that makes any sense. So this is, we use motorcycle brakes, motorcycle suspension. This is 3.2 kilowatt hours battery. I, I think Surrounds have less than two kilowatt hours batteries. So obviously everything is heavier and everything is more powerful. I love it. So I just want to show you, just want to show you a bit of an acceleration, okay? So if I go, if I slow down, I'm purposely going to be using only mechanical brakes, not the regen. So you see, so you have an idea what these mechanical brakes are about, because I know this is always a weak point of every single bike. Okay, zero to 100 now. Okay, that's awesome. And now I'm, I'm gonna just wait for the car so I don't brake hard. Uh, okay, I'm gonna purposely brake with the front brake only. Three, two, one. Oh, that's scary. That could definitely do a wheelie. <laughs> that's awesome. So if I go with both brakes, this is ridiculously aggressive. <laughs> that's some serious G's for the whole way with myself including that's crazy I always I, I get where people get the Suron comparison because it's a it's a popular bike and I'm a tall guy so always when I stand next to it it looks like <laughs> it looks as small as Suron that's what I would say but every single time when people come to the workshop to take a look at Cyberbike, they can wrap their mind around how massive it feels. And once you touch it and once you sit on it, it's like everybody is blown away how serious, how serious that feels. And the power, that only underlines it all. This is awesome. I'm guys pretty busy with uh, now sorting out the water system to our, uh, to our camper van conversion. So I'm always busy with something else, you know, like one time we're building bikes, the other time we're just making a progress on this uh, conversion and we're making videos about all of that. So I don't have much spare time at all. So for free rides, unfortunately, I need to decline. For me, it's just much more efficient to be making these videos to at least demonstrate. Because that way we can at least do a couple of thousand people in one go. Let me also know in the comments if you like this type of content. It's super genuine. There is nothing scripted, nothing made. So this, how you see it is how it is. So at least this way, I can just stop the work, go for a quick ride, show you a demonstration, and actually free my hat for a second. <laughs> this, this content would be so easy for me to make that we can easily with Margaret make a couple of videos a week. I'm really curious. At the beginning, we were trying always to do, you know, well done videos, scripted tech, and it's just so time consuming. And unfortunately, that results in less videos. This is easy for us. So we'll see how you guys respond to that. Okay, I'm gonna stop the footage and have a nice day. This kid wants to see what it is. It's super fun to go downhill and just go with a region. No mechanical braking at all. Just sucking the power back to the battery. <laughs> That's 
the hidden potential I like the most, that you don't hear anything. See that, how quiet? Just the nature and the tire. Sometimes I'm 90 kilos and it never happened to me that I would overheat the controller or the motor. It's just always disposable monster power. This is insanely gorgeous. Can you imagine living here? This is super duper. This is, this is, I could live here and commute to, to the workshop on a bike. Seriously. Awesome, awesome ride.